Web comics. Comics on the internet. They have been praised for breaking beyond the strict limitations of newspaper formats, but they've also been condemned for being absolutely terrible. Marshall McLuhan suggested that each new technology has four effects. It enhances an old ability, obsolesces an old technology, retrieves some sort of old practice, and reverses its own purpose if used improperly. So what can we learn about webcomics with McLuhan's Tetrad? I like that they're really uh, easy to access. The author, artist, can do whatever they want, portray whatever they want, they can do whatever schedule they want. They don't have to worry about anyone except for the readers breathing down their necks. Infinite space, infinite panels, infinite layout and text and dialogue. There's a lot of people out there who I don't think have been introduced to the world of webcomics. And if they were, I think it would make their day a little better every day. Hello, I'm a webcomic. I'm a newspaper comic. So, uh, you know, I just kind of changed my update schedule. I'm going to be three times a week now. That's great, great for you, webcomic. I'm out every day when you buy yourself a newspaper and Sunday I'm even in color. Well, that's pretty cool, you know. Although, you know, I can come in color on Sunday. Or, you know, any other day. Well, if you ever want to read older copies of me, you can buy old collections in uh, your local bookstore. Uh, that's pretty cool, you know. Or, you know, when you can just go on the internet and find the full archives of me available right there for free. Yeah, well... Uh... you can do the things that you used to be able to do in newspapers. You could have full color, you could have story arcs and characterization. It would be a lot harder for someone to get their comic, I would say, um, serialized in a print magazine than, say, just start their own website. Anybody can produce a webcomic, but it's a do-or-die system. I have a webcomic. And I am a newspaper comic. So, what are you doing? Getting ready for prom? Actually, I'm going through certain processes to ensure that uh, when I'm published, I look well and good. That's interesting. As a webcomic, I don't really need to do anything like that. I can just, you know, be drawn on the back of a sweaty napkin and you can upload me to the internet. But what if you don't look presentable? I mean, I always look good. Well, that's not really a concern on the internet. The internet is about expressing your ideas, not about expressing them well. Ew. Because the uh, quality control and censorship of newspaper, everything's kind of bland. It, well, you're not going to find a Vancouver Sun with newspaper comics that would maybe be more common in Vancouver in Australia. As far as archiving goes, webcomics definitely have an upper hand. I do not think that there's anything newspaper comics can do that webcomics can't. Hello, I'm a webcomic. And I'm a newspaper comic. So, um, but what's going on? Where's she going? Well, since you came out webcomic, they just can't compete. The, the online artists can just throw things up on the internet so easily. Well, that seems a bit harsh. Why are you turning that up? <sighs> I don't know. It just seems like the newspaper is so relevant now to putting me out there. I mean, you can be uploaded so easily onto the web. Don't worry. I'm, I'm sure it'll be popular again someday. Like disco? Due to the fact that there's no editor or quality control over the webcomics, they can range from really bad to really good. I mean, it may not be very good, but at least you're sort of representing yourself. There's a lot of bad webcomics, we'll just put it that way. There's a lot of bad webcomics, but that's okay, because there's some good ones too. Hello, I'm a newspaper comic. I'm a webcomic. Good. God, webcomic, what happened to you? I thought things were going so well with your freedom of expression. It's the internet. Nobody knows how to draw. Nobody knows how to be funny. Everything's terrible. I don't even know what this is. What I like about webcomics is that they're sort of free of any reasonable boundaries for, or unreasonable boundaries for that matter, for what sort of content they're allowed to have. Or you can also get really, really filthy rich off uh, penis jokes like uh, the Penny Arcade guys did, and I think that's really great. I see censorship is the biggest difference between uh, conventional comics and web comics. 
Hi, I'm a webcomic. And I'm a rejected newspaper comic. They wouldn't print me because apparently I'm not wholesome enough. They wouldn't even let me say hell. Really? Because, you know, I'm on the internet, and uh, I can do pretty much anything I want. I have violence, curse words, I could drop trial right now and nobody would care. Oh. It's true, you know, I can say any word I like. I could say, you know, hell. Hey, hey, no, 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 no I could. No, I could say We're shit. Here. I could say <laughs> shit. Go to something more wholesome.